While I try and plug this all in, um, one of the things we talked about today is the discovery problem. Um, I'm suffering from the opposite of the discovery problem at the moment. I found out this morning in Sasha's talk that someone's already written what I was going to show you. Which is, which is sort of a shame. Um, all my preparation is now dead, so I'm going to... Is that going to work? Is that going to work? Come on. Come on. No? Oh, right. Best laid plans of mice and men. Oh, hang on, that's probably... Definitely, yeah, go. okay, just tighten that up. Just tighten that up a bit. Okay, so... Um, so that said, this is now a somewhat more improvised lightning talk on how I did something someone else has already done. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I got into Emacs through getting into Clojure, and it's kind of, this is my first and a half Lisp. Um, and one of the things I really like about Lisp is um, REPL-driven development. The idea that you can just shoot some code off and see what happens. And it's brilliant, and I don't want to code that way, I don't want to lose that ever again. I don't want to code without a REPL ever again. Um, and one place I often have to is JavaScript. Now it's kind of got a REPL you can call up the console on Chrome, and but that's not really that's that's a playground. It's not really a way of developing. You 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 don't get this audit trail of your conversation that ends up in real code. So I've been trying to create something a bit like that. I'm going to give you a quick demo with a screen space that's actually much smaller than I expected. So. This is what I've got, and I'll show you how it works. So I've um, pulled up a random web page, so my GitHub page, and I've got a bookmarklet that starts a connection to a server running on Emacs. And then I can do things like um, send... Oh, hang on. Hang on. Uh, oh, sorry. Yes, I can do brilliant things like that. Or... Perhaps a slightly better demo is I can send this line and oh, see? Um, the screen space is going to be really tight here, but um, try and give you a slightly more exciting example. Uh, what's it so this is a um, little D3 visualization of a uh, market I've been playing around with. Um, and if I connect that to my REPL, I can do fun things like, and I developed this live um, earlier in the week using exactly this tool, and I can do that. Uh, I, can just send, I can just send the whole code function, um, and every time it tries to download new data and re-render it, um, it's got a new definition of that function. So when it calls that function, it changes. Um, and so that's the basic idea, the, the idea that I can be coding and just live send it to the browser and see what's going on. The other one Sasha mentioned was called Skewer, um, and it looks like it's slightly further ahead. So, um, hey. Um, but uh, maybe, maybe it would be interesting if I just show you a little bit about how I put this together. Because uh, it's actually surprisingly easy. That's the thing that really got me. It's, um, it didn't take long for me to do at all. Uh, let me see if I can... Find okay, so so this is the um, this is the JavaScript bookmarklet, um, and it's completely modeled on mrepl for closure. The idea is that we'll send over a map of JSON that says this is the operation. So the operation is eval this code, and um, this is this is the code, and it's whatever string Emacs Emacs is sending through. So it just sets up a WebSocket, connects the Emacs server, and tries to figure out what the message packet's saying. And it asynchronously evals it and sends back, um, sends back the result of evaluating that code. Anyone got any questions on this? I think it's... What Emacs side WebSocket? library are you using to connect to that JavaScript WebSocket that you just created? It's uh, called WebSocket. Um, so where'd you get it from? Um, now it was part of a project to 
make a Google Wave client. Okay, I've used that one too. So I was just curious if it would if it had updated in the last two years. So no, it's a Google Wave WebSocket. Yeah. Yeah. Fair yeah. enough. Thank you. And it seems to be fairly well written. I mean, it's, it does client and server fairly robustly. Um, I don't know the WebSocket protocol inside out, but it seemed to be done by someone who knew what they were doing. Um, and then, so uh, I've just a function that starts a WebSocket server locally. The bookmark bookmarklet connects to it. Um, and then it's just all a question of, actually the hardest part is figuring out when you say send this thing, what's the thing you send? We don't have neatly formed S expressions that make it easy to figure out what the top level thing is. That's actually the hardest part in JavaScript. Um, so I have a bunch of things that try and figure out different ways of doing that. But essentially they're just finding a region and shooting it down the WebSocket. Oh yeah, yeah, sure, sorry. It's funny, it looks huge here. That's the thing you don't realize until you're standing up here. It looks absolutely huge on the screen. There we go. Um, and then I've, probably the last thing I'll say, I nicked some code from Sam Aaron to get the kind of flashing a different color as it goes off to the thing. Um, at least I think he wrote it. He definitely uses it in Emacs Live. I think he wrote it. And that's called mrepl eval less expression foo flash. Very catchy. Um, but yeah, it's not much code. If anyone can give me a hand packaging it up to ship it off, I would really love to push this live so people can play with it. Um, but I, this is my, my first e-list thing, and I have no idea. Shout. I'll come and grab you over pizza. Cool. Um, yeah, that's it. Any questions, please ask. Are you, are you familiar with Swank.js, and if so, how does that relate to this? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this, was, this was entirely a what can I hack an e-lisp thing, so I didn't really go looking for alternatives, um, especially when it turned out to be quite easy to get what I wanted up and going. Um, again, the discoverability problem. Yeah. But, hey. Thank you.